Hi, I'm Lynn with AWS Security Assurance. I'm going to be presenting to you our new compliance service, AWS Artifact, and show you how you'll be able to use the service to better support your customers. AWS Artifact is available in the console for customers to access and review AWS compliance reports on demand. There are a couple of different reasons why customers request these reports. First, their auditors and regulators need to be able to validate that AWS meets common security objectives. Second, for their own assessment of the security of AWS and its services. Let me show you a preview of how our new service works. First, navigate to the AWS Artifact portal by going to console.aws.amazon.com forward slash artifact. When you navigate to this portal, you will see the list of audit artifacts. These are auditor issued reports, certifications, accreditations, and other third party attestations. There are two types of audit artifacts, public and confidential. All AWS customers have access to public artifacts. An example of these include the SOC 3 report and the ISO 27001 certification. Confidential artifacts require a one-time approval by Amazon for customers to receive access. An example of confidential artifacts include our SOC 1 and SOC 2 reports, PCI, and the ISO statements of applicability. Each document includes information related to the scope of the report, such as the AWS services and AWS regions it is attesting to. As an example, I'm going to show you how to download the ISO 27001 certification, which is available to all AWS customers. Here you can see the date range that this document applies to, as well as the AWS services and regions in scope. This is helpful for customers when they are going through an audit and must demonstrate compliance over a specific period of time. When I click to get this artifact, I am asked to accept the terms and conditions for this artifact. For the ISO certification, it is the AWS Site Terms Agreement. After agreeing to the terms, the option to download the certification will appear. Download and open the document in Adobe Reader. Click the paper clip on the left-hand side in order to view the certification. Now, if I didn't have the appropriate permissions, a pop-up would have appeared denying access. So now when I click on the Get This Artifact button, a message appears denying access to download the certification. Any customer who receives this pop-up will be directed to the artifact documentation, which has step-by-step -step instructions on how to request permissions from their account administrator. We know that you commonly receive report requests for both SOC and PCI, both of which are confidential documents that require the customer to sign an NDA with AWS. We now have that NDA available to review and sign through Artifact. If your customer has requested this report in the past, it is likely that they already have approved access and can accept the terms of the NDA and download the report within minutes. If it is a customer's first time requesting a confidential report, they'll need to click Create a Support Case. This is so Amazon can validate that they're not a malicious user and add them to the whitelist. This is a first time only request that takes about 24 hours. Once approved, they'll be able to accept the terms of the NDA and download the report within minutes going forward. To show you the NDA process through Artifact, I will demo with our SOC 1 report. After clicking Get This Artifact, a virtual copy of the NDA appears. You can read through this NDA, print and save for your records, or share this with your legal team. Once finished, you can accept the NDA, which then opens the SOC 1 report. As with all of our documents for download, you will want to open this report in Adobe Reader. Click the paper clip on the left-hand side and click to view the embedded document. Thank you for taking the time to learn about AWS Artifact. If you have any additional questions, please visit our website at aws.amazon.com forward slash artifacts.